What's going on, everybody? Bobby Fye here for my five and five. Haven't been doing this in a while. I'm going to start doing it much more often. Uh, it's been a little bit of a hectic schedule, so I'll do it as often as I can. But I'm just going to touch on the five and five for the NBA's five uh, four game slate tonight. We have a lot of uh, question marks and some news yet to come about who's playing in the Portland game, and then probably stuff we don't know about um, that might even arise because that's the nature of the NBA. So I'm going to talk about some priority plays here, and they're going to be either ors. So I think that. Uh, I think I think Joel Embiid is my favorite spend up on on both sites. I also think that playing Shake with Milton when you're not playing Embiid is a good way to go. So I'm going to have that combination uh, both places. I don't mind. Uh, Mel, I'm sorry, not Milton. Milton, um, Milton with Embiid, uh, Maxi with Embiid. You start to get a little bit tighter, but I actually think that's fine as well. So two out of those three guys will make a good portion of my lineups tonight. Spencer Dinwiddie is my other uh, play of the night since. Well, you know, without Christian Wood, he's really taken over, uh, not just with the second, not just with the starters, but with the second unit as well. And his numbers uh, have have really, really been solid outside of one sort of fluky game against his former team in Brooklyn. Um, I like Dinwiddie quite a bit here. So I think that Dinwiddie is going to be a priority of mine tonight as well. The other one, uh, there's a lot of value out there that's speculative. And this one is included in that. But I kind of like the idea of playing a Kongwu. It's a back-to-back -back for Atlanta. Capella, and, you know, has historically sometimes sat on back-to-backs and sometimes played less minutes. But they're going to need a big guy out there. So even if Capella gets in foul trouble, and either way, a Kongwu is already getting enough minutes anyway to make him a value play on this slate. So let's call a Kongwu my third, my third guy that I'm prioritizing tonight. The Kleber thing is probably going to depend on ownership with me uh, on DraftKings. He's 3,400. It's, you know, hard to resist when we don't have a lot of value, but you could play guys like Avdia. Will Barton is another prior guy who I was thinking of as a priority. Uh, a lot of these cheapos that I really think are are kind of interesting that I don't think, um, I think you can sort of spread out, let ownership dictate what you want to do with that because, you know, in terms of value, none of them maybe stand out and you throw a guy like James Booknight in there. Um, but it's all very speculative at the moment. We'll probably have some clearer stuff open up later on today, but somewhere between Kleba and Barton, uh, book night would be my favorites of those extreme values in terms of other spend ups, uh, guys, I know uh, there's obviously the Luca play, which is fine. Uh, I'll be using that more on FanDuel than I would on DraftKings. Uh, I like Trey Young also on FanDuel, but on DraftKings specifically, I don't mind taking a shot with CJ McCollum here. And I'm sort of wondering if Portland is in fact going to play all their guys on the back-to-back -back. and they they haven't, you know, historically they seem like they've got, you know, Joe Val, we've seen sit on back-to-backs in the past. We obviously know Zion has in the past, although he may, he played the one this year. So did Joe Val, I believe. But uh, even without that, I sort of like the idea of, of speculating on McCollum against the team that really get, didn't give up on him, but, but, uh, but it's a little bit of a narrative thing. And I guess it, it, along those same lines, uh, Josh Hart on the other side in that game, going back to New Orleans, more it's because of the pace and I think his rebounding upside is very high, uh, even if Nurkic does in fact play. And uh, I'll throw out one my one other narrative guy is the uh, Christoph Porzingis. So I'll be mixing those guys out in, th in throughout my lineups. And uh, that's basically what I'm looking at doing tonight. No, it's not a whole lot to touch on right now, but I'll be live at 6 Eastern with Sheets. And uh, good luck to everyone tonight. Let's make some money.